Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. It's 2023, Rotten Tomatoes has had the cover unceremoniously pulled off, laying the ugly truth bare for all to see. At least that's what I would say if I'd been living under a rock for a decade or more. As I record this video, Black Panther still sits at a 98% fresh. Now, for those of you who don't remember that whole fiasco, a recap. Black Panther drops and is met with a fountain of access media pocky, heralded as the first black superhero film, despite the existence of the excellent Blade films nearly a decade earlier. Yeah, after the first one, they did go downhill a bit, but they are miles ahead of anything put out today. Rotten Tomatoes gave the film a rating far above what it deserved, removed negative reviews, and when called out, they threw the racist pejorative at mock speed. I could see the writing on the wall at the time, but let's be real here. They were hardly unaccompanied in this respect. Anyone could see that most professional review sites were more bought out than our air quotes president. However, I doubt that any of us could have guessed just how cheaply they held their credibility as they sold it out for 50 bucks in a backstreet BJ. And for the people saying that it was just a few reviewers on a few films, I would like to point you to the tomato meter for anything at all released by a major studio in the last two years. It's easy to see that they are giving a good rating to whoever's check will clear, and I'm certain that some of them were leaning on the scale for political reasons as well. This is why most people don't trust professional reviewers. The scandal is merely confirmation of what most of us already knew, it is but another example of the access media having the integrity of your average used car salesman. But tell me what you think down below. This has been Pete the Radical Nerd, signing off.